Hey fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 8 of State of Decay 2 Lethal Homecoming, which originally aired live on Twitch. And for me to get for me to switch John's equipment out, I would I would have to drive home so that he doesn't leave taking our stuff. Alright. It looks like uh the Yays are having it. So I have to make a quick trip home. Oh man, Sira. Your day just got a little bit longer. I am sorry. Also, this news van is uh gonna be burning some fumes, I think. Might be worth seeing if any of the trunks around here are lootable. Oh, who the hell are you guys? Who's this? Oh, this is the new lady again. What are you doing you out here? No, no, get back here. Stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to try to drive away from her as fast as I can so that she don't get herself killed. I have no idea why she hasn't gone home. My guess is as soon as I finish this quest, I probably have to save and reload the save because she's... Yeah, she's... She's not long for this world, continuing her current warpath, her foolish warpath. Okay. No Zed's around, but we can't secure the place with a plague heart close by. All right, Johnny boy. Time to get you kicked out. Flicker. Where'd I park my Maragra? Anyway, I forget. Oops. All right, John. Oh, that's Bax. Uh, that's the wandering, mysterious person. Yoink! Enjoy your rusty screwdriver out there, dude. I wish you the worst of luck. I'm also going to bring the pill press I'm with me, because I'm going to sell it to them once uh, we become allied. Jarhead, thanks for the resub. Oh, and I missed the pet, pet tusk. My bad. Sorry, Astra. I gave her a little ring ring. Now let's refuel this before it goes dry. Hey, Tusky. I'm supposed to pet you. Yeah. Yeah, pup, pup. Uh, can we park the new woman in the infirmary or something? Nope, she doesn't need treatment. She's just doing her own thing. I wonder if she's actually here as well. More fuel, and soon. I'm glad uh, I'm kicking out Mr. Bossy Pants. No, she's not here. Oh, man. I, I'm a little worried about her getting herself killed out there, but we'll see. Yeah, John's about to get the boot. <laughs> I cannot wait. Oh, the hell? Did you just spawn in the... Okay, so she's home. Because there she is, but I also just run her over. Actually, you know what I could do? Well, nah, I'm not going to exhale him. He could just leave on principle. You're not fired. You quit. Right? John is one of the OGs, uh, but all of the originals had random, you know, they were all random heroes, so it turned out that his hero bonus sucks. Actually, the person's hero bonus that I'm currently using sucks too, so I'm really eager to, to keep recruiting. She teleported in front of the van, or into the van. I'm okay. If she's home, I'm happy. She can teleport all she wants, as long as she's not going to get herself killed. Alright, I should get rid of this pole now. Sorry, Joan. 
Everybody voted. You're out. You fired. We're to the max number of survivors. So without sort of gaming the game mechanics, it's 10, but you can go up to 12. The game has a uh, special ability, like you can get special ability. Ooh, rare skills trader. You can get special um, ways to recruit people past your max, but basically 10 is functionally the max. All right, Nan. in my book. This ain't right, but I won't fight you over it. Bye, John. We appreciate the second chance. When you need help, just call. We won't let you down. All right, so these guys, their Enclave benefit is Assault Plague Heart. Uh, when I call them on the radio, they functionally easy, teleport to the ally. Plague Heart and help fight it well, with me. It's, it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty awesome. All right, I am selling the pill press, buying the building materials. And we are now allied with the Philistines, and John is gone. Oh, is Steam down right now? Bomber, dude. Jadehawk, thanks for the gift. It's up, man. And, uh... Emily, I think I missed a hydrate from you. Uh-oh, that is a, hold on. That is a feral, I'm gonna need two hands for driving. The what the heck? She just teleported into the van again. I just dropped the new girl off in the middle of that swarm back there. Oh my lord. She is going to be so messed up. The best I can do is drive away as fast as I can. Because combat doesn't really happen when the players are not around. It's sort of like uh, Schrodinger's combat. If the player's not around to see it, it doesn't occur. I don't think she should die. I, I think I got away from her fast enough. Oh, Mysterious Stranger expired. Lame. That sucks. Before I retire, before I actually like save and go back to the menu and then uh, load again because the new girl has a teleporting problem, like she's Night Stalker or something, uh, I want to go to the Rare Skills Trader because they are so amazing sometimes. So, one last detour, Zero. One last detour, and then you can have 48 hours of uninterrupted sleep. Yeah, she has an unexpected mutant power. That was exact... Uh, let me take a detour. That is exactly correct. What happens if they're completely sleep deprived? I think we're about to see that. Damn, too loud. What the? There is no one in here. Oh, I have to find them. Yeah, okay. I get it. I'm. My brain is about as alert as Sira's. Peekaboo! This was just one of the three locations the trader could have been in. Um, but with that said, I need more fuel. So let me withdraw a little bit more fuel. You know, I, I mentioned that I don't really need a fuel outpost. I kind of feel like I do. What I really need to do is to go to other gas stations in the game and loot some fuel because, uh, I have one fuel left for the base. I could do radio for encouragement uh, to regain some stamina, but the thing is, I'm not really going anywhere uh, that requires combat or anything like that. Like, I'm playing it pretty safe. 
So, uh, I want to... The encouragement here for the remote device is 150 influence, which is a kind of a steep price for something that I don't absolutely need. So if I get stuck in some, like, prolonged combat, absolutely I'll call it in, but until then, I'm gonna be... Whoa! No! Oh my god. Project Zomboid all over again. Do a barrel roll. That is just about exactly what happened to me in Project Zomboid. That's weird. And before anyone in chat goes, that was an Aerolion! I know, but everybody calls it a barrel roll, so deal with it. I found the traitor. Yeah, fatigue driving? Maybe she's just, like, uh, imagining it. Hey there, business partner. Okay. Alright, uh, I heard it's zombie around, but let's let's take a look what so she has. What we got today? Driving? Scr oh, Scrum's really good. Uh, Scrum's certificate allows the survivor to provide two additional labor for the community, a huge speed boost to facility actions in the base, fishing, Lycanology is amazing too. Uh, Lycanology allows a character to produce two meds for the community each day. Uh, recycling is amazing as well, two materials and 25 parts. Sewing is pretty good as well, increasing the survivor's health and inventory space. Soundproofing reduces the chance of zombie attacks, and sleep psychology um, increases community morale and grants extra beds. I would say Lycanology is probably the best of the books here, but I, obviously I can't really afford it at the moment. Who is shooting? Oh god, you know what that is? That's the teleporty lady. She's now picking a fight with random zombies in the field. I really do need to log out before she gets herself killed. So let me get home and uh, and and reboot real quick because uh, yeah, she is yeah, sleep psychology is amazing as well. Lycanology is, I think, really powerful as well, especially on um, uh, lethal difficulty because resources are so scarce and you need to make a lot of plague. Can you change the nicknames of survivors? Yes, but only with mods. You need a uh, community editor mod. Yeah, my my character is having sleep hallucinations. Rest in peace. I think you're right. She also hallucinated that she did an early on uh, <laughs> while driving. Okay. Community? Oh, Lindsay did get herself beat up to hell. Of course she did. Alright, I switched to Lindsay so right that she then. can't continue to murder herself. And then, uh, let me... Unfortunately, the rare skills, I'm going to exit out. So they don't, they're not going to exist. Because I need a reboot. Because it, it got a little weird. So we're up one recruit, down one recruit. Uh, we now have new allies that will fight Plague Hearts for us. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, do a little bit of scavenging to just get my resources up, uh, specifically bullets oh and fuel. There's a string of numbers next to B -O -V. Oh, never mind. The numbers look like GPS coordinates. I'm not doing that right now. Uh... Sira just got her Aunt the Prepper mission, the next stage of it, but she's asleep. So we're not doing that. Uh, I do want to take Lindsay out, though, and get Lindsay, uh, figure out what her leader bonus is. So where is Sira? There's Marquetta. I need to switch guns with Sira. She was already injured when I uh, went to recruit her. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if... I have no idea if, if this is sustained damage from her being crazy out there or not. Um, I'm just going to assume it was, but who knows. I felt like she was in better shape than this, though. But I could, I could be wrong. Do I want her with a pipe? I'll give you a crowbar. A lot tougher. Right, 
right, so I'm definitely not doing the Aunt, Aunt Dora's POV. Uh, I think what I'll do is... Let me drive up here and, um... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I am going to attempt a play card. Oh, I don't really have good weapons for that, though. I don't have any heavy weapons. Never mind. I'll have to be on the lookout for heavy weapons. Heavy weapons are the, the best weapons to take up play cards. Do you have a heavy weapon? No. Blunt. And then I don't think Marquetta has a heavy weapon either. Glad to see you're still in one piece. No. She does not. What I'm doing here is I'm upgrading my army medical tent uh, from level 1 to level 2. This takes building materials and influence. A lot of influence, but I have a lot of influence. And it's going to increase the benefit of that army tent uh, from 1 med per day to 2 meds per day. Which should break us even. If we take a look here, I'm using 2 per day for my infirmary. And uh, break even would be really nice. And then I'll deposit another building material uh, into storage to make up for what I just withdrew. Alright, so I have 400 influence left. I'm going to go to the Bronto gas station to see if I can't rummage for uh, fuel for the vehicle and also rummage for repair kits. So, I guess, technically, I'm going to be scavenging. Why are my survivors miserable? Was it the exile of John? I could take a look. It's probably yeah, injuries and tiredness. It's a conflict with Marquetta, a conflict with Lindsay, some infestations. Uh, I'll, once I get a little bit more fuel and possibly repair kit, I can work on clearing infestations. What is easier to get at the base, electricity or water? So, the, oh, you got a barrel. Uh, the, the water that you can add to your base needs to be worked periodically, so I don't like it, whereas the electricity doesn't. So I generally have an outpost that provides water and a... Um, Don't hear any zombies, but in plague territory, an outpost that provides water less. and build something in the base that provides uh, power. That's how I go about it. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Pop the infestation up here while I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. It's just across the street, and it's only a one screamer infestation, which is not so bad, unless they scream before I kill them. Infestations get uh, worse over time, so they start with one Screamer, and then they work their way up to three Screamers. Ooh, and... Oh, there we go. Fuel. Uh, as soon as you hit even two Screamers, it gets kind of annoying, because what ends up happening is you need a fast-firing weapon or use a Molotov or something like that to deal with two Screamers at once. Because if you shoot one, the other will scream. They're kind of, like, linked together. What are the maximum number of outposts you can have? You can have... Eight, maybe? But six is sort of the functional max. You generally don't have more than six. This is lethal. Yeah. I didn't bring firecrackers or anything like that. Yeah, eight is the max, but generally you're going to max out functionally at, like, six. Or even five if you don't get lucky with, um... Thing, uh, loot things. Oh, you know what I could do? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach this slightly differently. Here, I'm going to have the scrappers here do a lot of the heavy lifting for me because I'm uh, lazy. Glad to see you. 
Oh, and they have two repair kits. Oh man. And meds? What's well, I have a bunch of meds. Uh, Let's see what's up for trade, eh? All right. I will buy those. That's awesome. I think I'm, I feel like I'm a little done with the, uh, the military truck that I have. It's just too expensive to drive. In my opinion. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, scout around and see if there's another vehicle in this town. To switch to. I don't know if, uh... I don't, alright, I've never scouted from this damage tower tell. Because there's loot at the top. It irks you that enclaves can stack things like repair kits and I have to buy both. Yeah, it was a little annoying, but I obviously want both, so I don't really care. Alright, let's see. That's good for now. All sites surveyed. There's a vehicle that might still run. Oh, that's the aunt's uh BOV vehicle. That's weird that it exists there before I even accept the mission. I didn't know that that is how that worked. The bug out vehicle, BLV. Vagabond ain't bad. Yeah. I don't like how it drives, though. I prefer, I honestly prefer the, um, smash wagon. The, uh, the pilot autos. It has a pretty small fuel tank, too. Correct. It only rides two. But so does this van. The upgraded version of this van rides four, though. So that's a little bit better. Oops, didn't mean to crash. Don't hit my car, yo. Alright, I'm just being opportunistic here and getting these guys to clear out the plague zombies for me, hence the honking. Hello? There you go. So the other enclave is asking for a cure. I believe I have one in my storage already. Oh, we are about to get a bloater in here. Could they die if it goes awry with this tactic? Yes, they could. Like, this guy is plaguing himself right now. So he... He might die. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay. Dominic Briggs just plagued himself by standing in that cloud, and he's now this close to dead. What a good ally I am. I know, right? Alright, so every single zombie that was linked to the infestation in that building has been killed except for the Screamer, so all I have to do is run in and kill the Screamer. But I don't want to aggro any other zombies while I do that. This all- this- oh, they aggroed anyway. This house has nine things to loot. Pretty solid. Oh, you just added to the uh, infestation, didn't you? Ooh, can't wait to see what we'll find here. Ew, don't be gross. Ah, 
And now all of these zombies that just... Oh god, there's a lot of them. Ow! Stop hitting me. One in Rome. Hi, guys! Dominic, you might want to stand back for this one. Oh god, is that a jug? I'm in here with a. Okay, this is real bad. Lucky me, a juggernaut. Yeah. Dominic's, uh. taking one for the team. Oh god, we all are. This is not good. Uh, so here's Dominic. Ow. Dom. Can't do it. Dom. Stop it. Plague zombies... Oh, jeez. Plague zombies always are, um, without a lot of clothing. So the ones that are clothed are, uh, ex-survivors that have turned. And now I have his gun oh, and weapon. pretty heavy. Alright, I need to make a run for it. Bye, bye. Uh, that infestation is going to have to wait. No, it won't. It won't wait. I'm going to do it. Almost out of that. Finish it off. Local infestations are officially back under control. Alright, the infestation is cleared. Uh, there was an example of the grapple that makes them disappear. And now, I have to somehow get back to my van. They killed it? Good for you guys. Or maybe it just despawned? I don't see a corpse. I'm just going to assume it despawned. Nope, don't stand behind me. Beep, beep, beep. Alright, let's bounce. Headed back home. Switching off of uh, the recruit here. To someone a little healthier. Hey, feral! Oh, two ferals! Nice. So are you asking about the Plague Meter? Yeah, the way the Plague Meter works is when I rest people in the infirmary, the Plague Met will go down, and then if it does max out, I have five minutes to get them uh, a cure or they die. And turn into a Plague Zombie. We want to avoid that. as you might imagine. In all honesty, we have not had a good run lately. Oh, we're fine. So the question I have for you all now is uh, about delivering this cure. Do we hand over cure Is it just me or are we having a to problem? the army people? Yes or no? Be up to you. It's going to be a really short poll. If not, I'll just go scavenging or uh, something like that. Probably switch out the vehicles. Try to hunt down a, a vehicle that's better. So these are the forward observers. Handing over the cure, I think, would make us allied, and we would get their enclave bonus, whatever it is. 
I'm no longer certain that the Enclave bonus is... Um, I'm no longer certain that the Enclave, Enclave bonus is actually helping with the Plague Hearts. And you guys say I should deliver this, so let me go deliver this. I respect that. Somebody said we needed supplies? I'm also going to be looking to ditch uh, these really expensive to run vehicles in lieu of something that's uh, better. Alright, let's get our butt over to our soon to be Ford of Zerver Allies. Deliver the cure. At worst, yeah, they could be potentially good recruits, exactly. The uh, army based. The army type people um, are usually pr pr already pretty skilled in uh, fighting and shooting. So, the, the cost to recruit from a neutral is 1500, the cost to recruit from friendly alert. is 750, and the cost to recruit around. from allies is free. Now, the other cost hidden cost of recruiting is when you recruit one person from an enclave, it disbands the enclave. So if the enclave has three people, you can only pick one of those three people. There are some isolated inst instances where the entire enclave will wish to join you, which is pretty cool, but they don't have it. They're not predictable uh, when they all offer to join up. I hate these uh, farm fields because it's hard to see plague bloaters and stuff like that. Blend in real well. Alright, I have the cure on me. That's right. Who wants this? You're welcome here. There you go. Much obliged. Watch your back, okay? Relax, dude. Alright, they provide training and advice. They don't help with fighting the play hearts. Dude, calm down. Alright, in my lap you go. Um, yeah, they don't, uh, they don't actually fight for me anymore. So if we take a look at the bonuses here, uh, go back to the map. Training and advice. Bonus experience. So if we take a look at the base and look at the bonus effects, the forward observers are giving us a 50% experience rate. So we level up faster, which is good, honestly. Really, really good. Um, I'm going to analyze them for potential recruits, though, too. So this guy knows auto mechanics. I don't know. The, the other trouble is there is hidden traits here, right? Their traits could be awful. Uh, that happened to be last stream. Their traits were... Um, Terrible, 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 and they start a lot of fights, and they cause a lot of morale problems. So I have to be very careful of that, and I don't know what it is. Uh, this guy, guy does construction. I don't really need someone that does construction. And then this one does auto mechanics as well. So two auto mechanics. He has uh, 120 and 127, and Millen has 116 and 130. So yeah, they're, they're both comparable to one another, I would say. Excuse you. <laughs> Just barking up a storm. So not bad. Absolutely not bad. Oh, what do they have for trade? Where'd they go? You're still on your feet. Do you have anything to swap for? Sounds good. Fuel, food. I'm good on food. Yep. All right. Sira still needs to rest before I do her aunt mission. Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is head... I'm going to start to scout. I'm going to try to scout for better vehicles. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> it's noisy. <laughs> the spin and bark? Yeah, I'll give you a front row seat to the spin and bark. His spidey senses are, uh, fully active, let's call it. Ah! 
Oh, I let it bite me. I was mid-dodge. I thought that would have been enough. I wouldn't need to dodge twice, but I was wrong. So what I'm trying to do is to get to the scouting uh, points and figure out if there's any vehicles around me uh, worth using over my military truck, which is very... It doesn't handle well. It's very gas intensive. And it doesn't store a whole lot of stuff. Nothing in here. It also might tell me where I might be able to find uh, additional supplies and things like that. We should jump on that outpost site. That'd be a plague heart. Church of the Ascension. That's oh, hold on one now. second. Borking intensifies. Yep. Uh, no vehicles here. Just a whole lot of nothing. Alright, let's keep searching for vehicles. This is a scout point too. Not that I expect there to be vehicles around where I am right now. Our vehicles, uh, their spawn rate is dependent on difficulty, yeah. So because I'm on lethal difficulty, there's very, very few. On normal difficulty, there'd be, I don't know, I'll just give you a random number. There'd be like 30, 15 to 30 vehicles on the map. On lethal, there'd be like six. Uh, so you have to take care of them and you don't have a lot of uh, options. In fact, you can, on the difficulty that I'm on, you could definitely want a certain style of vehicle and just never happen upon it. Whereas on a e easy difficulty or uh, normal difficulty, there's probably going to be one of everything. At least. All sites surveyed. Okay. Yeah, I sort of figured this was going to be a bust. Uh, let's check the stack containers next door, though, for loot. Whoa! Ouch. I didn't mean to do that. No, no. It's empty. There's nothing here. All right, let's keep driving. Oh, there is a vehicle over here, though. This is a... Oh, this is my Miragra. I... A part of me might... Feels like I want to switch back to the Miragra. Has a smaller trunk size, but more fuel efficient and uh, easier to handle. I switched to the military truck, and I a little bit regret it. The military truck upgrades to something called a Big Boss, which is better than the military truck, but, like, not really my style. The mirror is here. Hmm. I'll let you guys decide. I'm sort of torn, so I won't be the decider. What vehicle to take? The sedan? The military truck? Quick vote. 
If we controlled a real trade depot, we could find everything we need to survive. I'd love to control a trade depot, except for I don't have a large spot for it. Wonder what what there is to loot around here. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm sure I've been up this uh, billboard, but I'll do it one more time. We are, I think, taking the sedan. I'll leave it up a little bit longer until I get back down. A horde, a screamer, more hordes. The army checkpoint might be nice for bullets if I can clear it out safely. We need the slam. Yeah, the smash wagon. I haven't found the uh, necessary things to make a smash wagon, though, so as much as I want one. Hasn't been an option. All right, bye bye, military truck. This checkpoint looks a little feisty. Do they already forget about me? Oh, this checkpoint is looted. No point in being here then. Is Lindsay in the infirmary? Uh, no. I'm off to see the medic. She is now, though. Marquetta needs to go to the infirmary because she got bit and uh, accumulated a whole lot of uh, plague zombies around. Plague infection from it. Oh, I should have stopped. Really? Gone. Get off my cars! I'm just getting out of here. Well, this doesn't look infected. I'll have to fight for it. Sir, yeah, there might be loot in the shed. Oops. At least these guys aren't plague zombies. So they can hurt me like they just did, but they can't infect me. So they're a lot less dangerous. We could find some use for that, maybe. And all. Not my lucky day. And parts. All right, the house is already empty. So I don't need to go in there. Not good. A little difficulty. A lot of the buildings just like spawn empty. So when it's black like that on the map, you just know it's empty. Hey, Taropa. Welcome. Oh, look who we have. My favorite freak. Where is my next survey point? Uh, this vehicle is so much zippier and much nicer to drive around than that military truck that gets uh, slides around and... Oh. How are you even... Oh, that's a different door. Oh, both these are empty. What 
What about this barn? Um, I'm not stopping. Kind of a lot of plague zombies. I'm pretty far from definitive medical care if I get plagues, so I'd rather not have Marquetta contract. I'd make it back to base in time, barring any, like, extreme vehicle mishaps, but better safe than sorry. This is going to be a little risky. I'm going to... Oh, roll. That's what I'm going to do. I wanted to try to get to the Bronto gas to see if there's uh, repair kits that I might be able to rummage up. This plague is going to catch up with me if I'm not careful. I'll circle back to it. So, who wants my help? There's... Well, that's really far away. And then... No, okay. Nothing down here other than Tressie's quest, which I'm not going to do with someone that has as much plague build up as I have. Okay. I think I can fight the... No, oh, no, that's kind of a lot. Moment, but that never lasts long inside plague territory. Alright, I think they're losing interest, yeah. Lethal is brutal. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. For once, I'm not going to quick search. I'm too surrounded. I think the rest to loot at this uh, gas station is out at the... Uh-oh. Got a lot of infestation is that at the around. pumps? I don't like it. Well, this area is getting really infested as well. I need to put some effort forward and clear that out. So I'll, I'll switch off of Marquetta uh, once I clear this out and uh, go infestation clearing. I hear folks asking what the rest of the world is like these days. Yeah. Personally, I'm more concerned about taking back our part of it first. The vantage, vantage points to scout Bingo. are, um, yeah, indicate like she said, are indicated on the map. Uh, like this, little binoculars. That's heavy enough. Little tempted to hit the espresso, because you can sometimes find food. Slow and steady. Is this character resourceful? Uh, I don't think so. I'll check. Oh, no, she is. Oh, and she got, um, ooh, sword play. Yes, please. God, she's getting stronger and stronger by the minute. I'll need to switch to a blade, blade of weapon. Oh, they saw me. Nope, they didn't see me. Wonderful. Oh, no. Okay. They've summoned a swarm. So what ends up happening, if this ever happens to you, you'll understand why. When zombies can't path to you, because I'm up here, they can't path to me, they start to roar. And they, um, they bring in a whole lot of attention. So these guys are all roaring, trying to figure out how to get to me. And it's causing a bit of a, a swarm to build up. And now all the zombies around for, like... Quite a distance are uh, converging on me. So it's time to leave. Oh, don't rip up the car. Start, start, start. We're not finding anything in here. Yeah, 
There we go. Kakata, thanks for the bits. And I missed a puppy treat. I think probably because they were all barking and going crazy. Alright, let's get M Marquetta back home to rest up and heal up. After I do roadside assistance. Well, maybe not right here, because I'm about to get my door ripped off. I need a supply drop at this location. Oh, right back at the gas station. We'll get on that right away. That's just cruel. I've driven far enough away that that swarm that I had caused at the gas station might not be a big old swarm anymore. We'll see. I left you some goodies. Don't everyone thank me at once. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look so bad over there. It'd be pretty cool if you could drive semi-trucks. Semis, 18-wheelers. I mean, the problem with that, of course, is... Uh, the reason... You know, it's the same argument that people make with Project Zomboid. Being able to have, like, armored cars and all that, but then it also ruins the difficulty curve. So it's a double-edged sword, for sure. I gotta drop this off soon. That was awesome. So I think it would be cool to have big old trucks, but then they would need to introduce dangers to the trucks. Because having a massive I win button can smash okay, all hordes. Uh, doesn't necessarily make for compelling gameplay. Alright, homebound we go. finally have a surplus of repair kits and a fully repaired car, so I'm sure I will total this on my way home. Oh, yeah, another problem with the uh, trucks, as Cheese just brought up, is the, the roads are covered in debris, and without maneuverability, you would actually really not be able to drive very much, because your trucks would constantly be hitting immobile, immovable um, sort of debris objects. Hey, that's another van. Well, I'm next to it and it doesn't even pop up on the uh, minimap. That's crazy. By the look of this area, there must be a play cart nearby. And there's nothing in it. Any plans to get a new outpost? Yes, I actually do. I do have plans to get a new outpost. I don't have a lot of influence right now, though. I only have 227, which is not even enough to meet the bare minimum for an outpost. So I need to do more quests uh, for influence or s build up influence by selling stuff or something. I'm happy to have the Maragra back. It's much easier to drive, more nimble, faster, better fuel. And we're bringing back a whole lot of fuel and repair kits, so that's been fruitful too. And nobody died. Yeah, this character's turning into a bit of a Michonne, you're right. And I'm just gonna lean into that because I, I got swordplay, so. We're all gonna be dead soon. Or undead, I guess. Parang or a machete? Uh, the Parang's in terrible shape. Maybe a brush axe. Or a Tactahawk. Or mail order Wakasashi. It's honestly a terrible weapon, but uh, yeah, why not? And you, what weapon am I going to give you? The PPSH? Works for me. Alright, let's switch. Hey, you gorgeous. What is Cirrus Quest? Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to menu again because Sira's quest bugged out and I don't think it's going to be re-offered unless I uh, back out to the menu. Because we let it time out, but she still had that exclamation mark over her head indicating that the game thinks it was being offered.
zombies are about to attack the base. We need all our defenders. Oh, what the heck? Hey, you. What's up? All right, uh, we're going straight into a zombie defense. Apparently, no rest for the wicked. Updating the current goal: defend the base. Kind of sucks because uh, this character has a considerable amount of plague buildup. So I'll just have to be very careful not to get uh, feral slashed or something like that. Oh, I can't move. There we go. Check out the brain one. Good hit. Get back in. In, in, in. In, in, in. Oh my god. Inside. That's a screamer. Where? I don't even see the screamer on my map. Oh, there it is. It's near the band. I think they just killed it. It's over. Done Easy peasy zombie defense. No problem. All right, now let's switch and put some effort forward to clearing out the infestations because I think that is needed. Uh, she still has an exclamation over her head, but I'm going to ignore it. All right. Keta. I need to give a big gun to. So I'll give the AK to her. If I'm clearing infestations... Why do I have so many frag grenades? How's it going? All right. So down south we have uh, a very unfortunate amount of infestations that I'm going to want to clear out. I still need circuitry for a better workshop, though. That's also somewhat important because that would allow me to make Molotovs, which are very effective in killing large amounts. Because uh, grenades make a lot of noise, as one could probably imagine. And uh, as uh -oh, a result, you use one and you end up just sort of drawing in more enemies. So I'm actually going to, right now, search for cir uh, circuitry. Trying to get the workshop up, or actually, more specifically, get workshop level two. That's what I'll call it. That's what I'll be doing. It should be pretty easy to do. Uh, I just need to search this point of interest here, the Southwest Fairfield Power Station. That's a place that tends to have circuitry. Also, this tends to have circuitry, but it spawned empty. Multiple traders have Molotovs, but uh, buying the Molotovs like that are, is very expensive. Plans for the next home site? Uh, yes. I plan on moving the farming compound, but that won't be for a long time. Because I don't even remotely meet the requirements. Yeah, not happening. I've got to get myself healthy. Oops. What did it think I clicked? I can't drive through this swarm without blowing up my car, so I have to pull them out of the road. And one hit, but that's fine. I'll come back for the assist. Nah, I'll do the assist now. Oh, thanks for turning you back. Beeper. 
Oh, you look bad. You need fuel. Sure thing. After you. Okay. Well, search yeah. the ransacked yeah. hardware store for fuel, which is up this way. Closing in. You got it. Oh, she's gonna follow me too. Sometimes they don't follow you. Oh, I have to drive through three screamers? That's nasty. Oh, and a juggernaut. Neat. I think I found the place I'm looking for. She's coming with me Check first, the and then I'll go help her. So this is where I'm gonna find my circuitry. Uh, these breaker boxes. Parking, there's no real security here. There's three. I guess that's what's Five. Something. That's probably all I need. That was loud enough to bring company. Another four. This is a fantastic yield. Any day now. I do like the free backup. Having um, another uh, survivor. Am I the only one it's kind of nice. Isn't rotting inside their skull? All right, done. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Homecoming, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 21st. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.